And of course, you'll get far more output. I wish you could see it as clear as I am. But... Like, comment, and make sure you subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Peace. Guys, this is what my system look like from above. I have some plans and I'm going to take you on the journey with me. You know, you'll, you'll be on the journey step by step, but you'll see exactly what I'm talking about, guys. So, yes, guys, this is my solar view from above. <laughs> yes, guys. Look at that. I'm amazed at this solar light here. As you can see, I'm still doing a little construction on my house, so that's the reason why those boards are there. But I'm amazed at this little solar light here. So I get the solar light from modern solar, and as you can see, that's my solar right there on the roof. Um, have some other panel, I have three more panel on the other side. Ah, but I just decided to come and give you a view of this light it is amazing guys so uh look it brightens up my entire backyard as you can see the workman can even do some work during the night guys so is that amazing light there i get it from modern solar and i think i got it for like seventeen thousand. but i tell you virgin it worth every penny I mean, we don't set up light around this side as yet, as you can see, and um, it's that light. And this light uh, basically is a motion sensor light. Actually, we get a remote for it, so we can basically set it however we want it. Rather, we want it to stay on, you know, for until it chooses to lock off, or we can do a motion sensor where um, what it does is it, it have a minimum levels of brightness and when somebody pass under it then the brightness will just automatically go up right so when it just come on in the evening it stay on like this for a while but i can tell you if a cat pass underneath it it get brighter this 100 percent if a dog whatever human is like it just magical as you as you as you pass i mean you don't even have to pass where that grill here right there let me see if i can where that grill is Right, so I can just go there and shoot out my hand, one of my hand, and it will just automatically come on. Guys, you need to invest. Even if you have solar system running your home, it is very, very good to have one of these lights or two of them or a couple of them. If you have three, four of these around your house, you do not need to put any outside light. So that's a way to save on your battery capacity, to save on light bill, whatever. So I just wanted you guys to know, peace out. I'm gonna get 12 is dinner and as you can see I have these little these little garden light there so I'm gonna go around here guys and you're gonna see as I go you're gonna see how the um, the light just come on bright so as you can see it's not there as yet but as I enter you see that guys the place bright up right so that's it right up there and the higher you carry it is the more light you get from it so anyway this guy is ready for his dinner so i'm gonna get him his dinner <laughs> right now there you go yes guys it's a light up there so the higher you get it is the more dimension you get from it right so if we should stand still for a while you'd realize it go down also also guys so this is the remote for it right so if i want to turn it off i don't know if the battery is good but no the batteries are not it needs battery it's been in there for a while let me see so no look at that look at that guys see as i move it come down so yeah guys it's a beautiful morning and i'm about to you know take on some 
some work in this day but I just wanted to show you something that I've observed being away from my solar system for about four months and I just want to uh, give you an observation as you can see it's now a few minutes after 8 and the sun is just barely touching on my solar panel because of those bushes as you can see there the sun trying to come through through right there but because of the vegetation the sun is not yet so the sun have to be above those vegetation like up above over there before I start to get sunlight on my panel so it's after 8 of course it is generating um, electricity as you know um, these panels are in these panels are now getting um, sunlight so they're they're getting sun these panels um, they're not hooked up I want to hook them up on a different system right these panels now are just barely getting um, some sunlight so as you know it will not get enough energy when you come around this side now these panels are not yet getting any light so as you can see the sun from the angle where I'm at now the sun is out over there so in a few minutes time we'll be getting total sunlight on these panels however guys my solar system is still generating energy as we speak but what I want to show you guys right as you can see the dew I don't know if you can see the dew is on the panel you get done to it is uh, dew on the panel so what I want to show you you will not um, so readily see it right now but I'll probably come back later when the sun dry up the dew from off the solar panel so you can see exactly what I want to show you after being away from my system for um, four months so if you look closely guys if you look closely you will notice look and it's because of the greenery so you see that so it's all over the panel basically mainly the end part mostly as you can look even on the roof you will see it on the roof there and it's um, because of the greenery right guys so uh, this is what I've observed you know being away for a while so I'm just doing this video right to let you know that if you are in a era like mine's where you have a lot of greenery I love nature you know so um, around me as you can see there's a lot of greenery as far as the eyes can see um, there's a lot of greenery however I'm gonna do some work here major work so I'm cleaning up this land going all the way way up in there guys so you'll see what I'm doing I'll take you step by step on that journey but this is my problem guys this is my problem and my observation my solar panels have I don't even know what they call this but it's the red residue from the vegetation from the trees and all that so I'll have to get these panel clean I'm gonna try to clean them before the Sun comes out brighter right and as you can see even the pipe right as you can see wow yes guys so that's my observation after four months so if you live in an era like this then I guess you will have to constantly um, clean your your panels right look guys look even the solar water heater you can see it all over right you can realize because I was really wondering why is it that my solar water heater at times when I don't get much Sun then um, it, uh, my solar water heater is not um, heating up that fast. First time it used to burn you up, but now I realize it's not a problem though because I still get in water, hot water. But um, yeah, this is the reason. Um, so that's a little thing that I was showing a light. But these, I noticed that these are okay, right? These are okay otherwise from down here where i have this piece of 
frame down the bottom there like over here yeah but those over there guys those over there so I'll have to do something about them so I'll have to get to work guys so just giving you an update but uh, the thing is if I clean them off now then I won't be able to show you them later on when it gets worse but you get the gif of what I'm saying right you get the gif panels are dirty so I gotta get to work so guys that's just an update to show you what has taken place over me being away for about four months So guys, you can see the difference from even over here. And if I come up closer, you can see the difference. Just by using some water, uh, there's a shower on buckets of uh, green there. So just by using some water to clean it, you can see the difference with those tools that I've, that I've cleaned already compared to this one, right? And of course, you'll get far more output. I wish you could see it as clear as I am, but yeah look at that look at look at that so the difference guys so yeah it is what it is so i'm just giving you an update so i'm gonna go ahead now and clean all nine panels along with um that water heat over there but i don't think i'll clean those um panels over there but seeing that they're not using as yet i have some upcoming videos to do in which I will have to use those panels, right? Um, I promise you a, a video about the casting of the system and that video will be coming next week, guys. So look out for that. Uh, I've started putting it together, right? So you will be getting it next week. All right, guys, so I just wanted to show you, right? Peace out now. Yes, guys, it's now 8.30 and as you can see, my panels are all now clean i go ahead and clean all of them and as you can see i'm getting direct sun sunlight on this one and as you can see up there that shade that i was telling you about there that shade in there but um can't really get rid of that well i could but i i could cut that but i refuse to so what i'm gonna do is in the future i'm gonna put back another panel here the, uh, that that's the least you know i can compensate for that with other so I put another panel there, put another one there. Um, but I decided that I'm going to put it back in the future. Um, get When I get the other charge controller. Well, I have another charge controller, but it's to do some video for you guys. So for persons who want to know to do it from scratch. So I'm going to put another panel here. Right, I'm going to put another panel over here. Right, and I'm going to um, arrange this and put another panel over that side there so yes guys all my panels are now clean they are now pretty this process take like less than 10 minutes to get all of them clean and as i said you just need like a bucket of water of course i could use another bucket to rinse them off again but um yeah and as you can see i still have a little spot up here <laughs> it doesn't matter i don't know if you can see but i have a little spot right here so I just use my hand and as you can see it's now clean and squeaky yes guys so basically the system that I'm running is a um, it's a maintenance free system guys right but um, as I said in special cases like mine where you have a lot of vegetation right a lot of vegetation so I don't know if it would get on the panel and you know by the sunlight and uh, mill and the dew that fall then you as you can see i don't even use much water you see 
So the dew and the sunlight would probably cause it to, you know? Um, yeah, it'd be like that. So but it's a maintenance-free system. As I was, as I was, otherwise, <laughs> if you have, uh, you're in an era like me, as I said. I love um, forestry. I love trees. I love nature. I love, I just love nature. So yes, guys. So I only have this left to do now. Um, oh guys, this is terrible. This is terrible. But I have this left to do. So I'm gonna get it clean. And yeah. But as you can see, guys, if you are living like in the um, city, where you don't have much trees, or even if you have trees, but around you is cleaned up. So if I had um, some of these things, some of these forestry cleaned up, right? Um, and I would get my son because if you notice, this one um, set of panel is the first set of panel that get um, that gets sunshine during the morning. As the morning come up, it would be the first to get um, sunshine. And if you notice, um, they are not um, dirty as um, as how you see these are, right? Because these um, are the longer ones to get um, the sunlight in the morning. Even that one was not as bad as this one and the other one because it get sunlight before those so it's a maintenance free system but in these um, um few cases you will have um where you have to come up um and and clean your panel and i i love you know taking care of my system so i come up here every now and then and clean my panel because i have easy access to my roof but where you have a harder access then you would have to take that into um consideration so yes guys look guys look look where this <laughs> see if you can see it look where this little mm, ah yeah that's better look where i'm choose to come <laughs> right so it's yeah it's a slug look guys Or a senile. Uh, yes, guys. So, comment down below. Comment down below. Um, uh, if you have a system and you have to clean it, just comment so that persons can know. How often do you clean it? So that persons can know. Also, if you want me to give you a video on how I set up this um, solar water heater step by step, then you can comment down. In the comment section and i'll do a video on that for you so anyway guys thank you all for watching and may god bless and keep you all i always say one love from jamaica blessings